Turn the page, live your life every day Don't let anybody stand in your way There you go. You can't beat that. Hey, Mike Foster here. This is called practicing aloha. Um, it's called the aloha spirit also. Being on an island like Maui, look how gorgeous it is out here. Um, and it's easy to practice aloha when you're here. I mean, think about it. You have the sound of the ocean, the breeze, the sun, the beauty. Um, but you'd be surprised how many, how many folks, when they get here, take some days and days before they start practicing aloha. And what does practice aloha mean to me? What does it mean to you? To me, it means embracing the, the aloha spirit, the island spirit. Stop rushing. Stop acting like a mainlander. Um, don't let things bother you. Hang loose, as they say. And again, a few days on the island, and it's really, really easy. And one thing you do is you have to let go. Let go of all the bullshit that is in your regular, everyday life. And just feel that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I have a very stressful life, and I'm a workaholic. And it took me and my wife two or three days to to get to where we are. We've been here now six days and now we're practicing the heck out of this aloha. And this is why we come to Maui. We spend a couple weeks here every few years and it just reinvigorates me and just gets me to where I need to be in my life so I can continue to do do all the things that I want to do. Um, to, to, leave, to leave my mark um, on the planet. But the key of practicing aloha is not just doing it while you're here. That's the easy part. It's taking it with you when you leave. We're gonna be here another week, and the key is I wanna bottle up all this. All this aloha spirit that's now inside me. The key is bottling that up, taking it with you. And it's almost like meditation to me. When you meditate, it's 15, 20 minutes, half hour. <laughs> That's just trying to get me of your day where you're, where you're in a perfectly calm state. And then you take that throughout your day when things get hectic, you recall that meditation, that meditative feeling, that feeling of complete nothingness, that feeling of tranquility. And you, you incorporate that into a, a pressure packed tense day. And that's what practicing aloha is. You're gonna take this beauty this relaxation, this tranquility, and incorporate it into your day back on the mainland or even on the plane um, when things aren't so beautiful. So think about that. Practice aloha. And you don't have to come to Maui to practice aloha. You can find it in your own backyard. A tranquil walk, um, sitting outside, staring at the uh, trees, watching the squirrels and the birds chirp and do squirrel noises. Whatever it takes, find your own aloha and practice it. Until next time, aloha, peace. Live life. 365.